if I could just, this is a recording from our women meeting, ladies, perfecting ladies, and I wanted to share this because it blessed me. It was talking about the lady with the issue of blood, and it's in Mark 9, verse 20 through 22. This was a beautiful story. They didn't give her a name, and if you think about it, that's like some of us. Nobody may not know our name, but our story is important. Our story is important because we survived, we made it, we have testimonies of our faith. We have things that define us that are sometimes peculiar, not traditional. Things that we had to do to press our way. Things that we're doing now to press our way. As we continue the series of studying the women in the Bible, we're talking about, or we talked about the woman with the issue of blood. The topic was, if I could just, what are you thinking if you could just do? What about get a better job, get healed, if you could just get a husband, if you could just turn back the hands of time, that was mine. If you could just make a better decision, if you could just. I understand because I have some, I, if I could just too. But even thinking about mine, if I could turn back the hands of time, I think about if I could, would that make a mess of things? Did God allow things for a reason? But I still say, if I could just. Yeah, because I have more wisdom now. I know better if I could just. Well, in the Bible, there was a woman who said just that. She said, if I could just touch the hem of Jesus' garment, that she would be healed. This came from a broken woman, a woman that needed healing more than ever before. She had done all she could. She paid doctors. She probably went from people to people asking for help, but nobody could help her. Her last hope was Jesus. She heard he was coming. So she pressed her way and did what was uncommon and maybe even looked down on. She had radicalism and willingness to do whatever she had to, to get to God. What about you? To get your healing, your deliverance, even in the natural, to make your dreams come true, to get to the destiny that God has for you, you have to press your way. She had been bleeding for 12 years, and she was considered an outcast. Due to her condition, she was not allowed into the temple, nor was she even allowed to touch another person. I'm sure she felt isolated and cut off from people and even cut off from God. The doctors offered her no hope, but she heard Jesus had come to town. She believed if she could just touch him, she would be healed. He would make her whole again. Do you believe he can make you well again, change your situation, turn things around? Just like he did for her, he'll do it for you. Well, she did get to him. She pressed her way and she touched him. And not only did she touch him, but he touched her and he touched her deeper than she could ever imagine. The scripture says that immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt her body freed from her suffering. God can set you free. She reached out in faith, and she was rewarded with a divine blessing, divine release of power from Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Her life was changed forever. After 12 years of going through, she had finally been healed. How about that? Blood is a symbolic of life. It had been flowing out of her for 12 years. The life was draining out of her, just like some of you. She was tired, disgusted. Sean, but now after meeting Jesus, instead of the life flowing from her, it is now flowing inside of her. She's living strengthened, hold, and she have a testimony like never before. She can say, look what God has done as a result of her pressing her way, having faith, and believing that God can do anything. What is your jest today? Press your way and touch Jesus. And you too may be surprised at how he will change your life forever. He'll make you whole. If you need change today, if you need healing, deliverance, 
Let's pray. God, I thank you for those that are listening today. I thank you that you came to heal, to set the captives free. If we can just, whatever their if we can just today is, whatever they're saying, if they could just do today, I ask you to do it for them. Somebody need healing, somebody need deliverance, and somebody need peace. Whatever it is, breakthrough, whatever, you're able to do it. Thank you for touching them. Thank you for helping them press their way. And we know you're going to reward them with a divine blessing. It's in Jesus' name we pray and we claim it all. After she touched him, it was so many people around him. He said, somebody touched me. And the disciples said, how do you know somebody touched you? It's so many people around you. Of course somebody touched you. He said, no, the virtue left from me. That means that healing went to her. And maybe he even felt her faith. But he knew somebody had touched him. Won't you touch Jesus today? Then he said to her, what I'll say to you. He said, woman, that faith hath made thee whole. Be whole today. Be whole today. Sister, daughter. That's what he called her, daughter. Be whole today. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Be made well. Keep touching Jesus. Keep pressing your way. By faith, ye shall have what you ask. God bless you. Thank you for listening. And we will put in the description how you can meet with us again on the next Saturday that we meet with our ladies.